Hi, this is B from Sorcery Soap, and today I'm gonna make a bunch of noise. No, today I wanna show you um, how I create multiple colors in the fill-in for a stamp. So here's the wolf, I don't know, can you see? Yeah, you can see that, that's pretty cool, right? I'm super happy with this. Here's a bear, this little grizzly. And here is a magical broom with a wand and some stars. And this is what we're working on today. So <clears throat> I essentially just start filling it in and put the colors as I want and then I smear them. So we're going to do a little Roy G. Biv, but not exactly. Roy G. Biv is red, orange, yellow, green, blue, indigo, and violet. Mm -hmm. And see how I filled in just part of it? So I'm gonna fill that in. I just wanna get like the essential red, orange. I need some pink in there. It's not gonna be on the right. We'll do the next one exactly, but let's just do this. These are neon soap doughs, by the way. So, and I put this in and then, you know, it's not an exact science. <laughs> So I get what I get. <laughs> and um, we'll see what happens here. I'm gonna get some of that off. There's a little star here I wanna fill in. And this is just an um, air bubble right there. So, let's see here. I'm gonna take off some of the, the big chunks of it before I start to totally smooth it off. So, here we go. This is just water. It softens it a bit, I've learned, so that it comes off a little bit nicer, but it also, um, you could gouge it really easy. So you're just taking off a nice smooth layer, a thin layer, smooth, not smooth yet. Because I want it to be a bit slippery. Alcohol works too, by the way. I just happen to have a little bit of water here. Let's see, can you see? Yeah, okay, good. Oops, sorry. See, I just gouged it right there, so. And you can see your soap dough a little bit better and see all your blemishes on the side of it. I don't know if you can see it on camera, but sometimes too, I'll show you before this is over, because we'll do another one. There. So, I use this finger because it has less ridges in it. And I like it a little bit shiny. That's all right. Now I'll leave that for a bit and see if there's any that show up, any little ridges and maybe run it over one more time. And you've got time. It's not like I cut these a week ago and I've been holding off. So I stamped the other side. Oh, didn't, not on this one, but I stamped the other side on a whole bunch of other ones. So there's two stamps on either side. And um, let's do another one. Okay. And of course you could just leave the stamp. I mean, that's not any big deal. I think they're very cool with the stamp. And if you want, like 
here's the problem. I put glitter on top here because I thought, oh, that'll look pretty. <laughs> the problem is, is that these little pieces of glitter um, tend to gouge the top of the soap. So that's not so great. And if you stamp too late, like you're going to get a little crack. I mean, you can always fill it in. Little cracks will appear sometimes. So there's an optimum, optimum time after you cut, maybe a couple days. But anyway, so we're going to do... I'm going to use pink as my red. Get that off of there. And orange is my orange. So Roy, R-O-Y. That's how I learned it. Okay. I get made fun of in my household because I say Roy G. Biv all the time. <laughs> um, red, orange, yellow. A little bit of yellow. This yellow has is so beautiful and has a lot of sort of mica iridescence in it and you can see the difference as soon as I put this on that it comes through which is great I love it but it takes a minute to clean it up fully so and if you want it you know really smeary you can roll these together and then put them on all at one time Here, let me see if I can so green is the G in Roy G. Biv. I don't know if I have enough top to do this. Let's see. And I'm not using blue, but I could. I could use a little blue in here, maybe. Let's see. Sorry, I'm making noise with all my with all my stuff. Okay. So let's see how this goes. Okay, so there's the rest of the colors. over because all my things are across the way. <clears throat> so what I'm doing, reaching over, I'm scraping my palette knife to um, get the excess soap dough off so that when I go like this I'm not dragging this back over it <clears throat> it makes for a cleaner you get a little bit of surface so I can do it a couple times but I think it's pretty effective and I think it's kind of cool. I might even just leave that. What do you think? Just like all those swirls on there? I think it's kind of cool, but I won't. I'll clean it up. It's easy to leave it. I'll go back and revisit a million times probably. There. So I have, I've gotten some new palette knives that I've been using that one yellow one for years. And it's so weird. I bought it and I was like, I don't even know why. And I thought I could use it, but you know, I wasn't totally entirely sure about it. You can see how it's starting to, I'm starting to take this off and dry it out too. That's the other thing. It dries it out. Anyway, I didn't really know why I bought this palette, this particular palette knife. I was like, nah, I probably could use it, you know, and it's, it seemed like an expensive tool for me. And um, now years later, here I am using it a lot. So I invested in a couple more. Last weekend, somebody asked me in the group about, about the palette knife and it got me thinking. So I ordered a couple more. 
and they seem to be handy. So you can plane these off. I know other people have asked about the planing and stuff, and I've shown that you can plane them off for, you know, being quicker. I'm not known for being quick, for sure. I'm, I'm, I like to be detailed and as effective as I can be, but not quick. There. So there you go. I'll give it a little spray with alcohol so you can see it a bit better hopefully dry. See, the minute that I touch it, it's going to put some smears on it. But I think it's pretty cool. I'm super happy with it. It doesn't have to be rainbow. It could be anything. So um, let's see here. We could do this bear. I want to do this bear in white because it's, well, maybe I could do it with these colors here and not waste the soap dough, huh? Okay. Let's see what this looks like. It might be muddy. Let's try it. Let's try more than one color. I like the black in colors, you know. Let's see what we got here. How many colors we can get in there. We'll experiment. We'll see how it goes together, huh? So that's what my little ball of soap dough looks like. Yeah, it's starting to get a little muddy. Not as effective, but that's okay. It's colorful. Okay. At least I didn't waste my soap dough. I found these. Um, they're like t-shirt material. Found these at Walmart. They're not very expensive. I think I paid a couple dollars, maybe four or five bucks for these. And I got a bunch of them and they keep the lint down, which is super helpful. Put all my soaps away, otherwise they'll dry out. So if I don't put water or alcohol, <clears throat> which alcohol has a bit of water in it, on here, and I just try to scrape it off, I'm going to dry out my soap, and I'm going to leave. I'm going to make more work for myself. So I've learned to put a little bit of water on here. See how that the yellow is great, but it really leaves lots of mica on there. We'll get it off. This takes a minute. Even that's pretty cool, huh? But I want it all cleaned up. Sorry, I keep reaching over in front of the camera. I'm sorry about that. I don't know. I want to take too much off. I really like that on his face, huh? It's kind of cool. smooth it down. I really like it when it's super, super smooth. That's the nice thing about these. It's like if you fill it in, there's no two that are going to be exactly the same, you know, similar. There, I'm gonna leave that just because I think it's cool. And it, if I keep taking more off, if I keep um, scraping it, it's just gonna take more of the color off. And I like all the color. So I think that's pretty cool. I'm happy with that guy. Anyway, um, so there's those. I hope that's helpful. And 
If you have any questions, leave them below. Okay, bye.